Detroit, Michigan, Penelope Stand up. Except myself, Lana Starr, of course, has been the WOW World Champion. We mentioned it many weeks ago. She defeated the original champion of WOW, Terry Gold, and became a champion herself. And she wants gold on her mantle again. And she's looking to Penelope Pink, the star from Detroit, Michigan, to do it for. And that lady stepping in there, the enforcer, Vicki Lynn McCoy, to help her get that gold back on her mantle. There she is, two parts, two parts of the Fab Four, right there with the fabulous Lana Star. Oh boy, she's grabbing the mic. So, night after night, I come out here and I talk about the greatness that is me, Penelope King, Vicki Lynn, and the Fab Four. And why do I do that? Always puts herself first, Nigel. I think Batman was in it. That's right, Lana. See, it doesn't matter who is or doesn't become the WOW World Champion tonight because at the end of the day, they're walking around with my title around their waist. And they know deep down in their soul that they could never be me. Little chip on the shoulder that the so main event's look. not her. Take a look at what a champion looks like, because I'm Penelope Pink, and I'm the real wow factor. She is a factor, but the only one clapping around here is Lana and Vicky Lynn McCoy. That's right, David. Penelope Pink awaits her opponent, a newcomer to wow. Can't wait and for you to see her. her opponent making her wow. with Sierra Breeze, and she likes to bring the flavors, the style, the colors of the Junkanoo Festival to her presentation day, that she likes to represent where she's from, and she's proud to be from Nassau, Bahamas. Well, I love the sound of that music. Wow, she just flew right over the third row. Sierra Breeze, a multi-talented athlete. She did track and field, karate, now in professional wrestling. Air Breeze, the newest WOW superhero, has her hands full in competition against the former WOW world champion, Penelope Pink, who has been able to put up a series of victories lately, G.I. Jane, Americana, and she's looking to add Sierra Breeze, WOW's newest superhero, to that list. Sierra Breeze locking up with Penelope Pink. You know, David, you don't get a second chance at a first impression, so you have to think that Sierra Breeze bringing her A game tonight. Breeze now trying to power away out of that side headlock by the former champion Penelope Pink, and she does so. Nice takedown by Sierra Breeze. By the way, Nigel, is she the first wrestler from the Bahamas? I think we'll have to check on that in the history books. Hey, that's my game, right? Wow, that's I gotta you. come up with the... I'm sitting next to the historian that's of women's right. wrestling and a good day of historian of professional wrestling, Nigel Lee. So you hear me, fans, and I ask him with hesitation because I know he knows, and you just said you're gonna check on it. So let us know next time we see Sierra Breeze in action. I'm gonna double check, David, but nonetheless, Sierra Breeze, an impressive athlete as she goes in with Penelope Pink, who applies the waist like This is really a true test for Sierra Breeze. Welcome to the WOW roster. Here's one of the most dangerous champions in WOW history. Oh, nice boot there to the former champ by Sierra Breeze. Sierra Breeze goes for a 
fast pin. She gets a two count, but man, what a way to make your debut against Penelope, being a former WOW World Champion, Sierra Breeze misses with the knees, but Penelope Peak connects with hers, David, right on the side of the skull. Penelope Pink showing why she is a former WOW World Champion. She certainly has been frustrated though, David, as of late she hasn't gotten the title opportunity. You heard what she said. She didn't care who the champion is by the end of tonight. Did the belt really belonged around her ones. Penelope Pink's believed that ever since she lost the title. You look at a lot of stars, Vicky Lee on the outside, giving a little jerk to Sierra Breeze. A good measure across the second rope. Penelope Pink now picking up Sierra Breeze. What height on that back suplex. Tremendous elevation by Penelope Pink. You know, she talks about not needing the championship and now she's the WOW champion. But she seems to be very concerned with it, David. Sierra Breeze now into the ropes, looking for the crucifix. Pink, yes, she connects. She got it. She almost didn't have it, but she made her way around. Penelope Pink has to be frustrated. Maybe she took Sierra Breeze a little lightly as this is her first match here in WOW, Women of Wrestling. But Sierra Breeze giving quite a showing against Penelope Pink. Clobbering away at the back of Sierra Breeze. Nice kick. Sierra Breeze coming down low and putting that boot right to Penelope Pink. David, she may be new, Sierra Breeze, but she is sure to have fans in front of time here with moves like that. Step up in Zaguri, connects to Penelope Pink. Sierra Breeze building some offense, building some momentum. Sierra Breeze connects with the splash in the corner. Wow. Powerful kick to the back of the head of the former Wild World Champion Penelope Pink and Sierra Breeze up top. Oh. Pink, Sierra Breeze. Let's take a look at that again, fans. Here you see it in an instant replay. Sierra Breeze up on the third rope and flies off. Wow. Blocks a suplex attempt, kicks the leg away, and Penelope Pink has an inverted DDT. Oh, Nigel, it's got to hurt on the face. And I think that that could spell the end of this matchup for Sierra Breeze, and it does so. Penelope Pink. by Penelope Pink, David. But... Introducing first from New Orleans, Louisiana, San Antonio, Texas, and Mavin, North Carolina, B. Carolina, G.G. Gianni, and Lil J. Buddy, the Brat Pack! The Brat Pack is back, and Lil J. Buddy is That's right, David. But there's been some miscommunication, even in this group, David. Well, you gotta believe there's a lot of egos in that ring. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But little J Boogie, as she's paired with BK Rhythm and Gigi Gianni, the last several six-person tag team matches just haven't gone that well. No, they the haven't. Pack. You got the fashionista, you got the rapper, and the and dancer. And their opponents from Los Angeles and San Bernardino, California. Sugar and Spice, the Baby Bites, and the Body Buster, Peter Rush. Peter Rush is with the Mighty Mites. Well, the Brad Pack certainly wants to prove and get back in the standings here. Wow, after taking a couple of losses, one of those losses came at the hands of the Mighty Mites and Stephanie Slays just a couple of weeks ago. There's sugar and spice bringing a little bit of flavor to your life, David. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of spice. Look at that. All three have capes on. I love that. All three wonderful wild superheroes. Keita Rush, of course, acting possibly as a mentor in this matchup.
BK Rhythm dropping some bars, David. And Keita, Keita Russ covered her ears. She didn't want to listen. And that didn't affect Sugar and Spice. And we are underway. Didn't get under the skin, didn't get in the mind of the Mighty Knights or Keita Rush. All three just very positive superheroes, David. Keita Rush kicking it off here with BK Rhythm. Go behind. Keita Rush, of course, background in MMA and runs the Bully Buster training program, David, here in Los Angeles. Just does a terrific job. Just a terrific job. You see her videos of what she does with kids, and it's just fabulous. Keita Russ, she's been in WOW for some time, fans, and she's done a great job, and we're proud to have had her in WOW Women of Wrestling for so long. And right now, she's showing BK Rhythm exactly what it is, taking her over. And they're almost getting a submission pin right there. Very unique pin attempt by Keita Rush now with a series of kicks to BK Rhythm. She's got that MMA style. There's a drop kick to BK. BK, of course, in there. And here comes Spice. About four foot 11 of Little Spice. The drop kick only connects to the halfway point on BK Rhythm. Sugar comes in and takes the feet out. Sugar takes the legs out of BK Rhythm. And right on her back gives her a little splash. Sugar now, full force. And stand into a splash. Charlie Wu on the cover. Gets a two count, does Sugar. Side headlock on BK Rhythm. And Sugar not letting BK Rhythm have any time to get back in this matchup, David. Lots of action here, fans. I want to ask you, Nigel. Everyone says Sugar and Spice. I never hear him say spice and sugar. That's a good point, David. I have to ask him about that, but nonetheless, the jackknife cover. I'm asking you, oh. why do we say it ever? Every time we say sugar and spice, not spice and sugar. Fans, let us know what you think. Go to Wild Superheroes and let us know why that is. All right, speaking of that, right there, spice is in. Now sugar. Spice and Sugar teaming up on BK Rhythm. And Little Spice hitting that second rope, that middle rope, has BK Rhythm now with her leg hooked, and BK Rhythm somehow able to hang in this matchup. You know, they've really done a great job, the Mighty Mites and Keita Rush, at isolating BK Rhythm in this six-person tag team match. Big elbow from the middle rope. BK Rhythm, she's been in WOW since we relaunched in October some years ago. She's been here ever since. She was in Vegas with us for the big relaunch with Paramount Television. BK Rhythm now taking over Spice. Well, you know, David, neither of BK's partners have been able to get in this matchup, but you gotta have to think she might deserve it after spitting those bars at the beginning of the match. Well, she finally tags in her partner, Gigi Gianni, the fashionista who's laying it into Spice. Snap mare by Gigi. You see the, the force, she just buried that knee into the back of Spice. Ooh, a big slap. Of course, slapped the taste right out of her mouth. But Spice ducks the basement dropkick attempt, sits back, Gigi Gianni misses, and now Spice on the ropes is caught in a power slam by Gigi Gianni, the fashionista. Gigi Gianni, you can see she is revved up. Things have not been going well for her team, especially for the leader, BK Rhythm. She does not want to be embarrassed again. She's wrenching away. Looking on is little J Boogie and BK. Little J Boogie has not seen any action yet. Well, Gigi Gianni, of course, with the knee to the back and slowing down the momentum of Spice, knew exactly what she had to do to counter that offense. And wow, nasty backbreaker. Spice just bent across the knee of Gigi Gianni, who is now taunting Peter Rush. And yeah, comes in Little J Boogie. Little J Boogie comes in with BK Rhythm. They're both teaming up on Spice. Sugar and Keita can't get in. Charlie Wu sitting up to the outside, and Spice is paying the price. Here comes Little J Boogie. She gets legally tagged in. Snap there on Spice. Little J Boogie going to town right now, hitting the ropes, coming off. Leg drop across Spice. 
nice leg lariat. Little Jay Boogie almost getting a pin for her team. Little Jay Boogie, she has the arm bar on Spice now, trying to gain control in this matchup, trying to prove to BK Rhythm and Gigi Gianni that she does, in fact, belong in the back. Nice suplex connects by Jay Boogie. Referee Charlie Wu gives it a two count, but Little Spice kicking out. Spice now being taken over to the corner of the Brad Pack and Jay Boogie tags in. Gigi Gianni, who started out with the game plan, the nasty shots in the corner to Little Spice. Nice uppercut there, delivered by the fashionista to Spice. Sugar trying to cheer all in. Peter Rush on the outside, and they did, they motivated her. And a bit of a jawbreaker there by Spice, and here comes Kita over the top third row. Beautiful drop kick delivered by Kita Rush. Wide tag from Jay Boogie to Gigi Gianni. Kita Rush flies across the ring, drop kicking BK Rhythm. Takes out little Jay Boogie. Kita Rush connects with the sling blade. Gets a one count, Kita Rush is on fire. Jay Boogie fights back. Not allowing Kita Rush to take control of this matchup. Jay Boogie charges David. They got little Jay Boogie in the ring. And Gigi Gianni's on the outside, beating away on Spice. Kita Rush with the Spice is in trouble. Sugar is in trouble. Kita's on the inside. The pinfall victory for her team. Peter yeah. Rush and the Mighty Mikes. Well, fans, it's time for your main event. Yeah. The following contest is for the Wild World Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from the darkest depths of your mind. Last week, and the Beast finally getting the shot at Abilene Maverick in the WOW World Championship. We just saw in the back, David, that Abilene Maverick gifted a little bottle of bourbon to Jesse Jones as a maybe a thank you gift, an encouragement to find a way out this match. But I think the Beast is prepared as ever for anything, including the shenanigans of Jesse Jones. As the Beast is in the ring, we're awaiting the introduction of the champion, Abilene Maverick. The producers tell me she's still what? She's in her stage dressing room area. Let's see what's going on. Where is she? You know what? I. I should have known. I should have known that she wasn't going to show up. <sighs> you know what? That's fine. Because I can do this myself. I, you know what? I don't need anybody else but me. Well, David, Abilene was looking at that clock. Abilene's checking something, looking for someone. Checking the clock. It looks like she's checking to see where Jesse Jones is. Well, we're we'll have to wait for a moment. We'll take a break right now, fans, and be back for this main event. Stay tuned. Your world champion is here. The champion is making her way to ringside now. She's donning the championship title around her waist. The main event is coming up. Oh, 
our favorites over there at the Cosmo in the pool there. Right now, the fans are telling her what they think of her. Not cheering, but cheering her. Abilene Maverick, their world champion, stepping up to the wild ring and now stepping through the ropes. She's dodged the beast. She's been ducking the beast and running away from the beast. But today, Abilene Maverick has to defend that wow world championship against her greatest opponent, David, the beast. Her greatest fear, maybe, too, because she's been dodging the beast for quite some time. Abilene Maverick putting that prestigious, wow, world championship on the line in tonight's main event. Your official Ben Scheinberg being handed the wow world championship, raising it over his head, David. That's what it's for. All the gold, the greatest prize in women of wrestling, the WOW World Championship. Abilene and the Beast, the Beast very stoic, just looking at the champion, knowing this is it. This is what she's waited for. And Abilene Maverick had a look of concern before she came out here to the ring, jumping on the back of the Beast and trying to end this thing early, David. She rushed the Beast quickly, jumping on her. I thought Abilene would have scrambled to the outside. Showing that she is a champion, going head to toe with the Beast right now. The Beast with a series of stunning clotheslines to the champion, Abilene Maverick. And now the shoulders to the midsection with such velocity from the challenger, the Beast. The shots to the back from Maverick don't seem to phase the Beast at all. The Beast has one thing on her mind, and that's walking away with the WOW World Championship. But Abilene Maverick moves out of the way and saves herself, David, from a possibly quick matchup. The Beast hits her shoulder on that solid steel ring post, and Abilene Maverick, ever the opportunist, taking advantage of it. Just slamming that arm of the Beast right into the solid steel ring post shoving her face right on the ring apron. The Beast is stunned. Abilene Maverick has the Beast stunned now. And I'm surprised that she's got control of the Beast, but it was that one misstep. That one misstep by the Beast. And that has put her in a very interesting position now as Abilene Maverick is in full control right now.
wrestling leagues because those things are tough to be hit against. There is no give in them. Abilene Maverick using that second rope for some elevation. Sends the knees right to the midsection of the beast. Good enough for a two count in this Wild World Championship matchup, David. The matchup that we've all been waiting to see and the matchup that the beast absolutely deserves, David. The champ clobbering on the back of the challenger. The challenger's left arm is definitely hurt. Abilene taking advantage of it now, whipping the beast into the turnbuckles. You can see the pain wrenching away on that shoulder of the beast, and Abilene smartly goes after it. And now a kick to the midsection of the beast is Abilene. Abilene grabs that arm, the arm that's got the hurt shoulder. Oh, my, Nigel, she's stretching it, taking it to its limit. Just stretching it. Oh, look at the beast. The beast showing superpower strength and hoisting Abilene up. She's got 